and welcome to this continuing live code series on creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and the Wagtail CMS. Today we're picking up where we left off, actually just a couple hours ago, but in any case, creating a site-wide search page for multiple content types. So site-wide meaning it's going to search in the magazine and the library and the community archive. It's going to find people and events. It's going to find, let's see where we are, Korea. It's going to find articles. It should find issues. All of, them, <coughs> all of the content types of those significant ones. And we'll designate which fields uh, basically should be displayed in a per content type template. So you have a person content type here and an event content type here and the uh, generic um, handler is just saying <coughs> render the result which gets the stringified rendition of the the page item and then in parentheses just show us the uh, content type name. I had some really great help in the previous uh, live coding stream to navigate through this attribute hierarchy and ended up not using it the way <coughs> I had originally uh, tried or anticipated but rather was able to simplify things by moving the template handling to the model essentially will define a search template for each model <coughs> as well as search fields. They seem to go good together. So um, now that I've got some some food in my belly and a little bit of uh, time to reflect, I think the next steps will be to create a specific search template for each content type or as many of them as possible to find the search template method or property in each of them relative models, relevant models, and maybe just take a quick look at search fields, but I think that'll be for further optimization later. And the idea now is <coughs> basically, or the question is where to store these search related templates. Should they be in each of the apps, the event app, the contact app, the magazine app? <coughs> You're supposed to, I guess, you know, have things pretty loosely coupled, but in this case, I don't really believe it's possible to loosely couple the search app from the different uh, content types. And so for the sake of organization and discovery, I would like to just put the, um, the search sort of teasers, the search uh, templates in the same folder. <coughs> So it would be something like a search magazine article. So the content type would be there. <clears throat> so if I do that and then I refresh, or actually if I just search for a magazine article title, we'll get a uh, an error because that doesn't exist. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in a little bit. matcha latte. I just had a matcha latte. It was, it was really great. I got this matcha latte powder from the store. It's like low sugar. Or was it chai latte that I opened up already? Anyway, they're both really good. So we're gonna, we need to create this template. Magazine article. That's saved and pretty much we're done with this. Again, we did some experimentation and learned how to register our own template filters, which was cool, based on a stack of overflow answer and some discussion in the chat. But in hindsight, we don't really need this template tag, although this is the convention to find your own template tags or filters, you put them in a template tags folder. We'll go ahead and delete this though. Site-wide search is the sort of issue we're working on. 
if I look in the magazine templates, we have this magazine article. Summary. And we don't necessarily need all of this, but let's go ahead and move it. And here we're using a generic entity. Refactored that. I'll go ahead and reset this. I would get. Mm, let me think here. Yeah, yeah. Where possible, I'd like to have a, the name being be explicit with the search. Um, everything's entities because of the generic way we're handling multiple entity types. But for example, if I'm showing an article summary here in the home page, I'd like to refer to it as article in the data context. So I'll discard those changes. And so article summary, discard these changes. <coughs> All right, so now this exists. I saved it. Let me close this working tree. So if I refresh, there we see it's working. So the template is just rendering this card, but since I'm displaying at least one magazine article, then it needs to have the correct magazine article template available with the generic entity. So I'll quickly just show that again. Uh, for those viewers, who may not have seen the previous session. This is the default sort of wagtail core search field that comes out of the box when you scaffold the wagtail app. I haven't really changed anything here. It, uh, by default, it, uses, it adds your, your form here. It uses the query. You can pass in whatever there by the URL or in the form. <clears throat> I can delete this too. Now, previously, it was just rendering a list of the search results, and it would render the title. And we clearly wanted to have a little more control over that. So all we do is uh, iterate over the result, results and check if the result uh, class, they're all inheriting from the Wagtail page class for the most part, uh, if not completely. So check if the, the specific child class has a property of search template, which is what we added here. And all that does is returns a string with the value that we saw, you know, uh, sorry, this one to make it render that template. That's all that we're doing there. There may be a little cleaner way of doing this, but I think for now this is okay. A more conventional way at least to do it. If I find that, I will refactor the code. In any case, if it has that search template, we'll just include it. That's going to keep things nice and clean in our search page and move most of the template specific layout into the, you know individual smaller components in, in essence and we just had to generically call it an entity because we don't know if it's a a person or an event or an article and pass that in there that's about it if otherwise it just catches these these uh, catch all ones so we, I make sure I don't miss anything and then we can handle it later great all right so that's an overview of what we're doing or what, where we're at, and now let's see where we're going. Actually, so I probably don't need these ULs because, again, Wagtail by default rendered everything in an ordered list. But we're not using that. And it's getting a little bit hot. <clears throat> That's the problem. That was the indentation problem. So I cleaned up my template. Uh, I'm going to mute for a minute and just make an adjustment to the sound and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hey, what's up, Stale Zandrixy? Stale Zandrixy. Hey, Wagtail. Yes, we're using the Wagtail CMS here. Let me just hop over there, which is really <laughs> remarkable. And um, have you used a uh, Stale Zandrixy? Have you used Wagtail? I've been really enjoying the developer experience. I think it has a really refined content manager experience as well, which is similar to WordPress. It's about 
the closest I've found to WordPress in any other uh, open source content management system, particularly in Django uh, uh, ecosystem, so to speak. I wish the uh, Django admin was intended more for end users. It would have perhaps gained a nice uh, user experience. But in any case, that's wag Wagtail is intended for mainly content editors again. Okay, so that was a good improvement. I think I've done enough work uh, on this initial, these initial files that I should probably commit soon. Let me just see what I've done here. It's not picking up this change correctly. Yeah, I don't want to stash. Hmm. It's right here. It's saved. Weird. It's saved and it's working. Refresh the changes and see if that picks it up. Okay, well, it looks like I'm, my code's a little bit confused anyway. I was getting, so this is a magazine article. I was getting tired before the, before the break. <clears throat> Stale Xandrex, he hasn't responded with their, they recognized though, Wagtail, so that's cool. This is the magazine issue. So that was the problem. That was why I was getting confused there. So the magazine article has the magazine article tag. Search templates. more or less all the changes we need to that search page. Again, Wagtail did most of those for us. Uh, even pagination appears to be working. We just don't have enough search results. That's pretty cool when the when things are just done for you. Okay, so now let's go ahead. <clears throat> search with magazine issue, add that back in. Search magazine issue.html. <clears throat> the 
with a magazine issue card, I can pretty much use this. Basically the same idea. And instead of issue, we'll be calling these entity. So an issue would be um, puzzles. <clears throat> and I would be running this site. Mm. I reset the, uh, I closed the IDE out <clears throat> and then it didn't activate the Python environment. So it's There we go. Oh, okay. Well, it's a little bit different than I expected. So first that we don't need this outer div. Come on. What's it doing? basically need the card and I probably don't need the image. I'll see how that looks though. It's going to be really wide, I think. Oh man. Just give it a little bit of wide margin top and bottom there. So it spaces it. Um, I'm using these my margins a lot. I'm wondering if there's a way to do that spacing in the parent component. Well, anyway. Search template. So let's do person search template. And if I hop over here on puzzles, Dan Strickland authored this, and this is their page. What I'm thinking is just, uh, and, and in some of these cases, it's so generic I could just get by with linking it to the page template. So that we can handle back here. More or less the card title. So I think here for just a second. So because now everything has a template. My goal here is just to get the basic thing working and get some feedback from Mary Klein, who's the editor of the magazine. And this got Wagtail Core Tags is there. I think it's just uh, Wagtail Core Tag looks like that. Uh, well, Django template tags look like that. That was easy. I 
there's an example. So I think this kind of begs the, uh, or presents the need that I, uh, to have these templates. I can't neglect them anymore. <clears throat> and let me see why, for example, Why we're not getting any more information here. Personal history with Korea. It's a magazine article. Should show the authors. And the body. This, well, wait a minute, where did it, it works here. There we go, getting closer. I think that'll be good uh, on the search page to have a little bit more information. And this, that's what we're doing here, more or less. So let's go ahead and do that. Stale Zandrixi, are you still there? You didn't uh, mention anything. Just curious if you're building anything, if you've got any projects you're working on, or anyone else in chat, I'd be uh, mm -hmm. glad to discuss some of the other technologies out there and things. Particularly open source things, I mean, I always like to check those out. All right, so let's go ahead and commit these changes. Uh, yeah, if you do uh, want to work with Wagtail or Django, I can help uh, share, you know, my experience and uh, opinions there. This project, for example, is open source on GitHub, github.com slash westernfriend. So as we build out these site features like community event calendar or so I would search, you can use these patterns in your own Django projects, Django Wagtail projects. So what do we change here? Essentially, or fix those, they weren't working before. <clears throat> Let's see, the publication date's working, so. Oh, I don't know the keyboard shortcut to maximize. So we have the parent of the entity, which is the magazine issue. We have the body rendering, we have the art, article authors rendering, and the title. Everything seems to be in good order. Okay, cool. So one thing while I'm here, this is just nagging me a little bit. Let's see if we can improve this search. Wagtail well, didn't assume, you know, this, again, search, uh, Tipla was created by Wagtail by default. So let's see if we can just add the uh, bootstrap semantics. I think it's just, I wanna make sure I get those right, but it's. <laughs> We're using bootstrap four in the project. I looked around a few CMS, uh, CSS frameworks, sorry. Um, was considering using Bulma. I'm thinking about material design too, seeing what, what uh, what's out there, but ended up just going back to Bootstrap, upgrading to four. The current website uses Bootstrap. This is what, it, what I was looking for, trying to remember that form control. Do we put on the button? No, but we do class button, button primary. Yeah, it sounds good.
here should be okay. Let's take a look at that. Okay. So yeah, that's not cool. Uh, I think we're gonna do form in line. And maybe make it a little bit smaller. Let me close out some of these tabs for a minute here. That was good, this was helpful. This would have worked. Let me see. I ended up really taking this guy's advice, but in a slightly different context. So I gave him the upvote. They're at zero for whatever reason, had been downvoted. Hey, what's up, Stale Xandrex? You welcome back. Alright, just cleaning up my tabs a little bit so I can focus. Having troubles with focus. I want to make this uh, inline form maybe not so huge. I did just see that in there. Form control small. Learning the Bootstrap 4 API, so the uh, class, the conventions. All right, so does that have a difference there? Yeah, pretty good. And now not so wide. Like this. So form in line, that's what we're needing there. And I probably shouldn't have messed with that, but let's see. It's okay, but something about it. How do you uh, fix the button to the item, really? It's just like a, an item. Or I could put spacing between it. Might be a little bit better. Yeah, I suppose that's okay. <laughs> hey, Stale Zan Zandrixy. How, is it, am I pronouncing your name right even? I can't uh, quite. Uh, Zandrixy. Let's see. So maybe just one. I promised myself not to fidget too much with the styles and things like that. That's why I'm using Bootstrap. Just as long as it looks crisp, looks presentable, I'm happy with it. Okay, we got some basic styling on the search form. Uh, let's see which, when I went back to Dan, that one is missing. This one works. First. This one doesn't, so let's go ahead and show. Under the events. I'll include that in this pull request, even though it's relating to only site-wide search, because it's necessary for making it work. I think by default these are just going to be called page. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, entity, right? 
actually no, this is just rendering the standard wagtail page. So let's see if that worked. We've got the template in place and it worked. Now for events, I'm not sure that there's much more to them. Oh yeah, there is. There's dates and things like that. Descriptions. So here's the model. So we're going to render the page, conditionally render the page specific description. Now it should be, a, it's a rich text field, so you have to escape that. And Wagtail has a filter for that. There we go. Now I'm wondering if in the search page, we should also show some of that truncated content. <laughs> so for example, I haven't created one yet. <clears throat> I'll do that in a second. Do that next. Let's see what else we got. Date. And this I need to enhance it. Things should have a start date and end date, but they don't right now. And that might go above it, but let's just try, see how it renders. Deja vu, deja vu. <laughs> it actually just did a good job by default. I like it. I mean, if you're from the United States, I suppose. Which this. Western Friend is based in the Western United States, so I think we're all right. Let's see how default this renders. <clears throat> I'll probably I'll do it a, an anchor tag, like visit site. Let me just check the default real quick. I think it's just gonna be a string. A button.
looks good. Whoops, what did I do? I actually saved it. <laughs> So actually I can look for something like this, Sarah Wolcott. Wow, back to the search. Oh, dang it. So I'll have to troubleshoot that later, but that's going to be an important part. Can't just search the titles. <clears throat> Might be that my search, if I'm just using things in a uh, SQLite database, that this won't work, or maybe the partial matching won't work. I'm not sure what's going on there, but mm, bummer. Same process, but community. I'm not sure I need these body classes to be honest, but they've they've been in there, so So I'd like to add in a, uh, metadata to help search engines index this content.
Okay, so this is looking for a community slash online worship. I'm editing the template in community. Oh, put it one directory up. So that works. Now if we look at the model for online worship, I think we're done with events. Community model, community page, online worship. We have description, we have times of worship. Or if you should use strong or Yeah, it's essentially a paragraph that represents a note, times of worship. So I think that's a good use of the tag. Website. So that's about it. It's good. Good to go. And the search. Field is description. Just thinking if I should put a search bar up here or how it'll work that out if I if I take this welcome message away or if I'm gonna have to split this out and be able to have a larger header area <clears throat> or take off the slogan. I think this it's pretty compact. We're gonna get more navigation menu items soon though. Hmm. It's tricky. Well, that one's done. So let's see. Because <clears throat> so I'm getting kind of tired, of even just in the development process of having to hop around like this. But I need to get some more content. What do we have here? If I just look at all of our pages, so I can make sure we're getting some results from community FGC. So let's see FGC. <clears throat> Quaker Finder community directory does not exist. All right. Community. Community, community directory. What is the difference? Index page and then community directory. 
All right, I'll just grab this. Description and website. directories I'll make sure I mean these are working I know that but I'll just double check that works in this case I would like a specific search template Events and so let's see where are and for community directories maybe not community directories description. And this one was truncate, I think was the tag. most and now I need to specify the <coughs> uh, the search template in the model things are gonna work out do this as a string property instead of returning a string from a function I don't know here I've done this before all right I just use the truncate article body truncate words HTML 30 let's try that I think what this HTML does uh, 
It's basically, it won't, it'll make sure it closes the HTML tag. Okay, you can't have spaces in between there either. It's a little bit touchy. There we go. And rich text. I need the person search template yet because if I edit this page, it's just given family name, so there's nothing much else to describe here. Alright, so let's, I think I'm done with this. So let's take a look. Some more content. Things. Online worship is working now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so we have topics. So community directory works. I'd like to make a community directory template. So we will display a little bit of. Uh, teaser content. So let's do the same thing with the event, essentially. It's this whole one. Doesn't have a date. Has a title and a description. Truncate words. So refresh that and have to specify. I don't need the images tags. We're not using any images here. I should actually check that out. Under events, clean that up. So under community. Is that where this is? Community directory search fields. General Conference. Tightens it up a little bit if I use a div, because this uh, rich text is already going to have the paragraph markup. Maybe I don't even need that. Let me see what's up here. If I just dent that. It's a little cleaner that way. What was the event? Dan? Something. Yeah, it's still working. So we just cleaned it up a little bit. Event, simplify markup. Add community directory search template.
Okay, now when I looked at Quaker, it had a bunch of them. So we have meetings. Now these have descriptions, so I will create a uh, Contact models. We have meeting, person. Meeting as a description. So let's go ahead and create a meeting template. So you just do it here. I wonder if I could just do search template. I mean, in essence, that's what a property is, right? So <laughs> maybe I'm just naively thinking I need to add a property in it for the function. That's why that decorator exists, so that a function can masquerade as a property. But when all I really need is a property. So this is missing two things. So let's try the search template first. See if this works. Yep. All right. Good stuff. So I was just sorry, just thinking for a moment. Uh, I'll add the. I need to add the search index fields. What model can I just crib that from? For these others, I'll have to just hop back there. Good way to do it, yeah, just that and find and replace.
is add the meaning search template. So yeah, this latter half of the sessions is just much more uh, kind of copy and paste. The worship group doesn't have a uh, description. This has a description. So uh, online worship search template. I think I probably needed that. is under community. another times of worship I guess so for that Okay, the organization, something's up there. Good work, quick remains, so library item, topic, oh. I might need to exclude that from the search. Maybe. I'll do that later. As long as they're working and library item. Hmm. So if I look at topic 2000s, I go back to search. It's like 2000 time period. Yeah, things are working there. So. Um, maybe it's okay to leave it in for now. What else am I missing? Online worship. 
organizations. So I did this, I guess, AFSC, Portland, Oregon. Let's take a look at that model. Organization. Didn't add a description as well. Contact this community. So we got a meeting person. Organization which does have a description. So yeah, let's do that. So we just set the search template. Search fields again. pretty good just going through these one by one kind of the same process but uh, it's a little bit tedious but at the same time it's not involving a lot of cognitive load most of this struggle was in the first three hours uh, session earlier today This is a little trickier one because we don't have description necessarily. We have a body field. But what I can do here is the magazine article, for example, has authors. library 
models library oh yeah that's another challenge as the these ones are defined as an orderable which has a degree of complexity to things hmm. so I don't think that authors is going to work The body is a stream field, so I don't even know how to display that on the search page. Nor how to search within the stream field items. Hmm, that's going to be a challenge. So in a way, I guess the library, I'll just I'll defer that. Departments and magazines. So I, I think I got the main ones. So I got uh, the magazine puzzles. So that's the magazine issue. Then I've got a personal history with Korea. Korea. Which is the article. Displays a little bit. Then I've got Strickland, Dan Strickland. Right there, which is a person who doesn't have much else to display, so I just use the default handler. And also, abundance, and our, so, which is an event. Library items, topics. Magazine departments. Pretty much everything's got a, template so I think this is a great place to kind of leave off aside from one thing so where to put the search field <laughs> I'll come back to that in another session think about it for a little bit. So this has been another session of the continuing live coding series, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Thanks for those who joined the live stream on Twitch. Um, and for those, uh, anyone catching this on YouTube, feel free to leave me a question or comment. I'll respond to those as soon as possible. If you're wanting to use this code in your own project or any of the See how things work, and any other sessions you may have missed. The website or the source code is on github.com slash western friend. So, so all open source. Okay, well thanks again for watching and have a great day.